emailed Susan Collins didn't get anything back. There we go. Good evening. Welcome to Tuesday, December 10th, 2019, regular selectmen's meeting. All of the selectmen are here except for Selectman Pendergast. We have the town manager, town clerk, town assessor, and a room full of high school students. <laughs> Is, uh, please stand with me and salute the flag. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As I said, we have a room full of uh, high school students here from government class. Is, uh, un unfortunately, we have a very short meeting, so you're not going to see a lot of what goes on. It is uh, Come back at budget time if you really want to see what we go through. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, uh, next order of business is the approval of uh, November 26 meeting minutes. I make a motion that we accept the minutes as presented. Uh, you were not here. I wasn't. No, this no, was. I'm sorry. Yeah. I will second that motion. <laughs> <laughs> we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? And one abstention. Yeah, you were out of town or something. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have no public hearings. No, first public comment. Is a first public comment is uh, open to anybody. Is uh, if you want to comment, please step to the podium, state your name, where you live, and dress. All questions to the chair? No questions? We have no public hearing. Is uh, reports of committees. Is a uh, BCTV committee. I know they're having their uh, meeting next week, so there wouldn't be anything to report. And then the Envision Berwick. Uh, did James leave anything for you? I uh, uh, know. James is in Los Angeles for the Brownfield Conference. Right. So. Uh, is, um, Paid for by the federal government. <laughs> is, uh, I, I can speak a little bit about the Envision Berwick. Is the uh, you know <clears throat> is the going through trying to uh, work on surveys right now. Is uh, the deadline for the surveys is the 16th coming up quickly. Um, you can do it online through the website. Is this is will help us you know with our comprehensive plan in the direction that the, we want the town to go in so i encourage everybody to fill those out i think james said last week we had over 250 responses and would like to have four times that many uh department reports you have nothing nope um <coughs> appointments presentations and other guests you have nothing Unfinished business. Anything to bring up there? No, nothing new. No. Nope. Well, unfinished. Is uh, town manager report? Uh, the fire department and police department uh, building project. The weather had kind of put it on hold last week because they got quite a bit of snow. They uh, have cleared it all, and then it all melted today. Uh, it's uh, pretty muddy over there, but they've got the uh, base of it where the station's going. Uh, pretty well laid out. Uh, they are working, they've been working on the access road, uh, which is a lot of material over there. Um, they're hoping to get that uh, so it's uh, usable by next week. Uh, concrete trucks are expected to be in next Monday uh, so we can get the footings in and then get the foundation laid and they can start moving on. We got word today on the hides that they found. Uh, we are able to just bury them, the uh, material in there won't move around. So that was a relief. Uh, it will save us quite a bit of money. If we had to haul them off site, that would have been very expensive. Um, the heat, new heating system is up and running. Uh, we came in Monday morning and the heating, there was no heat. <laughs> 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 and that was because I guess the furnace hadn't been cleaned. Uh, we've been cleaning it every year, but uh, with the changeover, it may have made some stuff. But they're coming tomorrow and it's uh, and have it clean, but it really has evened out the temperature throughout the whole building, which is really nice. And you don't have to duck when you go through the main entrance. And you don't way. have to duck. I'd like to thank Dana Hall and his crew. They came in on uh, Friday after we finished, and they took out every single radiator that we had, cut them off at the pipes, and 
We had two left, and Dana was in today to let us know the reason they didn't take them is because they're filled with water. <laughs> and they're in places where they need to be drained first before we take them down. So I thank Dana for taking care of all that. He uh, came and looked at the project, and he was here the next day to take them all out, which was amazing. Um, uh, Robert and uh, Carly attended a uh, MDOT meeting uh, for the Hubbard Road Bridge project that's coming. Uh, it's going to start on June 29th, and it's going to be a 60-day period where that road is going to be closed. So just pay attention uh, to that. There'll be detours. They're going to be closing the bridge both ways? Both ways. Yeah. They figure it's easier to get it just to get right, it done. When we had the first hearing on it, we talked about the need. They were, they were originally talking about doing during the fall and the need for the buses to get through. Yeah. So I'm glad to see they changed it to the summer. Yeah. So. Much easier time to do <clears throat> stuff. Um, what else? We did meeting. Uh, we had not scheduled a meeting for the 24th because it's Christmas Eve. I have a contract that uh, we found some things that need to be changed and get approval from the union reps. So we won't be voting on that tonight. I was wondering if everybody could be here for the 17th. It'll be a very quick meeting. We'll sign some warrants and then uh, so hopefully sign two contracts. I still haven't got a response from the Teamsters <coughs> on their wage scale. but. Uh, we sh might actually be able to get those both finished. So if that's okay. So next Tuesday? Next Tuesday at 6.30. I'm all set with it. I can make it. So Okay, yeah, very good. Just have Patty send us all a notice to remind us all. Excellent. Thank you. That's all I have. Um, Any questions? Do you want to say anything about Chris Wiseman? Chris Wiseman, our uh, chief operator for the uh, water department, uh, on his way home, um, Friday, there was a bit of snow on the ground, uh, he, and somebody, uh, a young lady, uh, going a little bit too fast from what I hear, uh, lost control of her car and hit him head on. Uh, he's in the hospital still. Uh, he had some uh, quite a bit of damage done. He's going to be out of work for about six weeks in, in a wheelchair because he, he really got hurt. Uh, his spirit's up. He's still emailing and talking to people on the phone um, and very frustrated by the sounds that he's incapacitated. But we wish him to get well quick and get him back back to work. So, uh, But Tough. the two people at the plant, well, we have two other people and they, we've met and we're in good shape. They'll continue to operate without any break. But any questions of the town manager? No. 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 Thank you. Yep. Um, I have nothing under <coughs> selectman communications. Yeah, they'll do approval of accounts payable. <clears throat> we have a water warrant, two, the 023 from December 5th, 2019, for the amount of $22,076.84. <clears throat> we have a payroll warrant, 2023 from December 5th, 2019, for the amount of $73,000. $692.49. We have a payroll warrant for December 12th, 2019. Payroll warrant 2024, the amount is $66,533.73. <clears throat> we have an accounts payable warrant 2023 for December 5th, 2019, the amount of $214,000. $979.53. We'll make a motion that we pay our bills. A second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you. Uh, new business is uh, we have nothing under that. Uh, quick claim deeds and installment contracts. We have nothing under that. And abatements and supplementals. And we have a lot under that. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the tax bills are out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Revals is done. So um, this should be the end of them. I think we have one more that we're um, negotiating with, with somebody, but this should be the last one that we have to date. So this will catch us up. Um, <clears throat> so, okay. The first one is. Um, Map R7, lot 4-A, 194 Long Swamp Road. Uh, it's a single-family dwelling on a 10-acre parcel. Uh, we inspected the property at the owner's request. Uh, we did pick up a finished basement that we didn't have before, but we did have over adjust for the overall condition of the property. Um, 
and also adjusted for some characteristics on the land site that uh, devalued the property on the, as far as topography. So as a, as a result, we're looking to uh, reduce the assessed value from 320500 to 307700 resulting in an abatement of $224.38. We recommend that the abatement be granted. So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Okay. Yeah. Next one is a uh, personal property account for Wells Fargo Vendor Financial Services. Uh, this is a piece of equipment that's in the uh, Berwick Public Library that we did not um, allow them to take the Betty exemption, which after the fact we found out that they were entitled to. So we're looking to uh, abate them for the amount of um, $68.72 for that piece of property worth $3,920. Looking for a uh, recommendation to be granted. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Thank you. All right. Next one is U4, lot 148, 11 School Street. Uh, this is the property that the uh, Berwick Sewer Department owns. Um, for the, it's, it's a the, uh, lift station, a pump station. Pump station. We inadvertently transferred that to the funds of Jupiter. <laughs> we have. Oops. So, yeah, it could have. Uh, it was a lot line adjustment. They didn't transfer the whole lot. They just transferred a portion of that right. property. Yeah. So we need to abate them uh, for $111,300, which is an abatement in the amount of one thousand. Nine hundred fifty-one dollars and nine cents. Move or accept the recommendation. Second. All those in favor? Thank you. Okay. Next one is uh, Map R thirty-seven fifteen C, one ten Cemetery Road. Uh, subject property is a single-family home, which um, the previous owner started as an addition, and he's never really finished it. So um, they've requested us to go do an inspection. Uh, we did that on November 13th and uh, updated the um, property to reflect the current state of construction, uh, reducing the value from $237,100 to $202,000, uh, which is a reduction of $35,100. We're requesting an abatement in the amount of $615.30. I'll just mention that I'm going to recuse myself from this. <laughs> second. In the second. All those in favor? And I will recuse myself. All right. Next one is R63, uh, lot 3D1. It's on Lovebrook Road. This was a parcel of property that was transferred twice on the same day. We picked up the first deed. We didn't get the second one. Um, it was transferred... Um, <clears throat> to Neptune Properties and then again to Central Main Power. So we build Neptune Properties. We did not build Central Main Power. So we're looking to abate Neptune Properties for the amount of uh, $964.15. We will be supplementing sep uh, Central Main for the, for, the you know, for the other balance. All right, so moved. Yeah. Second. All those in favor? Thank you. Okay, this is R49, lot 12A, 11 Yankee Lane. Uh, subject property is a single family home on a parcel of land that was reduced from 5.6 acres to 3.14 acres. Uh, when the ownership transferred from Carol Smith to Dana Keelan for the deed, um, we created the new lot, but we didn't reduce the, uh, we still left the property with Carol Smith. So we need to abate her and then we'll supplement it back to the correct owner. Um, the abatement is for $228,100, uh, which is a, an assessment of $3,998.59. Recommend that be granted. So moved. All those in favor? Okay, yep. now we're gonna get a little bit of money back here. So this one is the uh, Yankee Lane property, uh, R4912A1. Um, this is going back to the proper owner, so we're going to assess the proper owner um, 
for that $73,600, which is the land portion, amounting to $1,290.21. Request in the supplement be approved. Second. All those in favor? Thank you. Uh, this is the other portion of that. Uh, same, same property, R4912A, 11 Yankee Lane. This is the home portion of it that was uh, assessed to the incorrect owner. The amount is $221,800. Uh, the taxes are $3,888.15. That'll be uh, supplemented to Dana Needland. Recommend that that be ex uh, supplemented. So moved. Second. No more sale. All those in favor? Thank you. All right. And the last one is the R63 3D1 Lovebrook Road property that was um, uh, not transferred to Central Main Power as it should have been. Uh, the amount on that is um, $964.15, which we abated earlier, uh, going to Central Main Power. So we request that that supplement be approved. Second. All those in favor? Thank you. All right. I'm done. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Have a good evening. Yeah, you too. So thank you. If you weren't here, we'd have had nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> These guys wouldn't have learned anything. Right? I can hey, change so that. <laughs> <laughs> so there are two places to sign on the Joy. two pages. I do have something under non-agenda items. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, second public comment. Please step to the microphone. Good evening. My name is Jeremy Hasbrook. I'm a resident at 194 Long Swamp Road. Uh, I'm commenting tonight on the appraisal, uh, or I'm sorry, on the assessment abatement uh, process, which uh, you voted on already this evening for my property. Um, Frankly, uh, I've been extremely disappointed in the process and in the um, response I've received from the uh, assessor's office. Uh, I initially um, attempted to resolve the mistake made in assessment of my property through the um, process set up to set up an, a meeting. I set up provided a, um, a, a appraisal that had been done during a refinance in April. I heard nothing from the assessor's office for several months upon um, having to reach out and contact the office myself. Uh, I was then uh, allowed to come in for a meeting. Upon arriving for the meeting, the assessor's office was unprepared with any of the information that I had provided previously. Um, and then um, upon the meeting, uh, we were afforded a opportunity to have them come out and do another assessment of our property. Uh, again, after hearing nothing from the uh, assessor's office, I had to reach out, uh, was given essentially the same days or two days later opportunity for them to come out and do the uh, appraisal, I'm sorry, the assessment. And then uh, two days following was contacted and requested an extension on the, um, on the abatement process at that point in time. Um, this evening was the first time that I received any information about what the revised value would be. Um, it is greater than what I had requested my abatement to be. Um, and uh, I was essentially wanted to provide you that perspective as a resident of the um, poor service that I've received from the office uh, throughout this process. Thank you. I continue to be unhappy with the uh, value of which my property has been uh, assessed again, as it was greater than what my abatement was requested without given any uh, opportunity to review it before this meeting. Um, the adjacent property to mine at 196 Long Swamp Road is uh, value is assessed at over $25,000 less than the um, selling price that it was sold for last October. This value continues to be over 17,000 more than the appraised value that my 
uh, home was appraised at back in April by a licensed appraiser. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any further comment? Uh, we have no executive session tonight. So other business, non-agenda items. Um, I handed out a uh, uh, short and long-term goals that we do every year. I'm not going to go through them tonight. I just want to make sure you get a chance to go through them. If I've missed something that you would like to bring to my attention that we should be addressing, um, the big ticket items that we have for the long term uh, are the MS4 project, which isn't on this. It should be under number seven. Uh, under uh, That's a million, $1.2 million project. Um, not scheduled until 2021-22, two, uh, but um, something that we really need to talk about. Two places on each of those. But we'll go through all of these uh, when we, uh, at one of our next meetings, I'll, and we can do it in the workshop after a meeting if you'd like. Maybe that would be a little bit easier. Second, uh, we're getting ready to start the budget process. Um, and most of our contracts, hopefully, will be signed and ready to go uh, next week. So that those uh, wages are all set, will be all set to, on those. We have to talk about the non-union employees and uh, part-time help and what you're looking at for or recommending for increases in uh, their wages if you're gonna, um, we're going to make them. And also any projects that you think that uh, we need to do for the upcoming. The one I'm really looking at is the elevator. We, we're, we're, very, we're not very ADA compliant here. <laughs> and, uh, and I've heard uh, several senior citizens uh, say they don't like to come into this building to, to get upstairs because it's not a, really an easy process in our uh, lift chair. It was broken down more times than it's working, so it's really time to replace it. I have reached out to uh, an architect, uh, Mike Glassell, to talk about with him about what we need to do and where we could put it. And uh, He spent some time here with one of his associates, and uh, hopefully I'll hear from him. So. After a meeting on the fire station this afternoon, I spoke with uh, Nick and Brad a little bit. Yeah. And uh, they, they threw out about the same price, $250,000 or so. Yeah. But um, both... Both of them said that they'd be more than happy to come down and talk oh, to us about it. And, uh, very good. Maybe and we I, can do a design build. And then, then, <laughs> then, I, then I cornered Andy, too, the architect, and told him that he should look at it. Yeah, so, that'd be good. As, uh, yeah. Is it possible to use some of the Lee McClurk funds for that? We could, yeah. <clears throat> just, just throwing it out there. I mean, yeah, good. no, there would be, um, we should have some interest. Uh, it, according, I just spoke to the... Uh, people who do our investment for us and manage that, and we've had a pretty good run lately. We've seen about a 20% growth in our interest amount, so that's really positive. But I'm also we're spending some of it, so we just right, transferred yeah, uh, 29 or 30,000 from it just for the heating system. So um, I, I think it's going to be very important to get that done before the uh, election next year, which yeah. is probably going to be. Uh, you won't be able to get it done by then. No. You know, well, you'll you'll you have to vote on it in June, and then uh, I can try to line it up, but it's it's yeah, three it's, floors high. I mean, we're going yeah. from down here. Um, what Mike has shown us is it would come where the existing safe is, because that really isn't very functional. Um, so we'll take that safe out, uh, use another. We have another room that we could use to uh, put a safe in. Uh, and go up to so it goes all the way to the third floor. We take out the stairwell on that side. We have two means of egress, so we don't have to worry about that. But uh, we do need. I would love to get it done before then. Um, and I and definitely could push it, but it's uh, somebody win the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, you know, it's going to cost about two hundred fifty thousand, roughly. And there's no grant funding available for something. Well, like that? I've reached out to Alpha One, which is a company that a nonprofit that sometimes has funding. But um, I guess once I have a number, I can start looking more and spend more time looking. But I'm hoping to find some. And we've sh we have one time talked about just a access to the second floor because yeah. you've got access here, 
And because we've moved offices up to the third floor, now we're looking at the elevator vice, just something out front for the second floor? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't see the sense of, if we're going to go through the, the, the expense and the mess of putting an elevator in, I don't see the sense of not including all three but floors. Yeah, I mean, at, at one time we talked about right. not, not putting anything in and just putting like a ramp or, a ramp. or something. Yeah, that was right. my last conversation. That was the last conversation we right. had. Yeah. yeah. Is, uh, but a lot cheaper. Yeah. 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 But that, that could actually be done. Uh, we could do a temporary. Yes. Yeah. For, for the November election if we needed to. I'm, I'm just, we're going to have a lot of older people going to vote, and it's going to be a lot of people voting, and yep. I don't want anybody it, to the, be one, missing one, out on access. One, one of the things, you no, know, that we could look at is, uh, is uh, making, make, they make the accessible ramps, you no know, similar to like the aluminum and dock system. Yeah, that's so what I was, that, that's what I'm picturing in my head, yeah. Yeah. You know, so, is uh something we can look at. Yeah, I'll definitely. I, we've been looking at ramps yeah. anyway since the last time we spoke yeah. about the, it. The, 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 the problem is is, is uh, using a ramp coming up through those front doors as the condition the front doors are in. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, yeah. That's It'll the be rub. a challenge. We but could actually do it coming in the back behind the, um, uh, where the theater, uh, stage oh, is. Yeah. That was the yeah. site we looked at. Actually, the Alpha One did come out and she took tons of pictures of every entry where we had and they were going to have their architect uh, look at what might be the best way. So I'll reach out to her and see what, if they've had a chance to do that. But, so we can look at both, temporary. But uh, that's all I have. So. All right. Any other thing going on? Yes? No? Maybe? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it, well, is, I, I was going to go through the whole Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and stuff, but we'll meet next week. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, all that anyway. So, is uh, one more motion? Motion to adjourn. All those in favor? Boy, thank you.